One of the things I have to do a lot of in the workshop in my model making activities is drilling and tapping a small BA sized holes for BA threads from about 12 up to maybe 2 BA but I do a lot of um, a lot of stuff in the 10 BA 9 BA 8 BA 7 BA range and a, and a lot of stuff in the 10 BA range now anyone who's ever done this sort of thing will know how easy it is to break a 10 BA tap and uh, there's a 10 BA plug tap in this uh, in this chuck for some cylinders I'm making personal opinion but I do find that in these small BA sizes if you can afford it you're far better off to buy the best quality high speed taps that you can afford the cheaper taps which typically are not high speed steel but are um, made from some sort of hardened thing they don't work so well I think primarily because in my view for whatever reason they don't seem as sharp as the high speed taps and because they're not as sharp uh, they tend to get more readily broken and anyone who's ever attempted to um, extract a broken 10 BA tap from a hole in a part I'm sure will understand of the difficulty and most times impossibility unless you're very very lucky of actually doing that and usually rec ends up in a scrapped part the current project I'm, I'm, I'm doing on my little engine I've actually got at this stage 16 10 BA holes to blind tap for the purpose of fitting cylinder covers this is a very old as I made this um, donkeys years ago this is a very old drill stand that used to be available I don't know if they still are for a Black & Decker drill this is the sort of um, portable Black & Decker drill that in some fashion used to fit into this drill stand I've altered it so I don't know how it used to fit um, but the arrangement is completely unsuitable personal opinion for, for trying to semi accurately drill pieces of metal uh, the thing used to have a lever where you could move this part up and down to do the drilling anyway one fine day a long time ago and I do mean a long time ago so long I can't remember um, I had the bright idea of utilising this Black & Decker stand and converting it into a sort of tapping tapping machine and to do that I carefully drilled through the threaded part the original threaded part of the Black & Decker I think this was uh, part of the arrangement that used to trap the Black & Decker drill so that was actually carefully drilled through to take a take a rod and then at the other end I um, recovered uh, a drill chuck which ran fairly accurately amazingly a drill chuck from a defunct I think battery operated drill I don't know am I the only one who ends up with a huge collection of these things when the batteries uh, no longer function and it's not worth buying a new battery I just buy another drill because they're also cheap so I recovered a chuck that actually runs pretty accurately and then made up a fitted a, um, a sleeve to the chuck this part which I then attached to the rod 
I made up a bottom bearing support with a bronze bush at this point. Now these Black & Decker drill stands were not made for accurate work and not actually made with any accuracy whatsoever. So as I recall I decided that I would have to make the arrangement fairly flexible so that there could be a fair bit of messing about adjustment wise to to get this arrangement to run sufficiently true that it would be of use because clearly um, you don't want massive amount of play here and you certainly don't want this end off at an angle so to do that this uh, this is just an ordinary piece of mild steel plate with a, bu a bronze bush in it and I opened out the holes on the bottom of the Black & Decker support and drilled and tapped a couple of uh, screws and this whole arrangement is capable of being moved about until I finally found a position at which I was satisfied that the, um, the tapping head was running at right angles to the base uh, and that was just trial and error, it didn't take a long time in my, as far as I can recall um, but it was actually crucial because this is, I mean this has had a lot of use and that's a bronze bush so wear etc has never been a problem The other thing I did, I mean these things were never accurately made and there was a lot of um, slop at, at these points here. You could have actually bushed this out and made it a decent fit but what I thought I would do and what I've always been satisfactory is I just drilled and tapped the back and inserted a plastic and I don't know what plastic it is, it's just something I had um, screwed up a bit of plastic to create an adjustment at the back of this support to remove any any play at this point and also down the bottom just took the play out of the arrangement and I have to say over I don't know 30 40 years it's proved extremely satisfactory the machine's quite handy because by simply moving it up and down one can accommodate quite a reasonable length of work. This is a bit of an extra plate I put on to just uh, increase the area of what was the original um, Black & Decker base. It's not fixed down, it just sits there good enough always seems to work um, and sometimes I find depending on what I'm doing I need quite a depth under the throat if I can't be bothered to take things apart depending on the part I'm messing about with and so the ability to not only rotate this thing but also slide it up and down is quite handy and then the tapping because these holes are not deep um, the tapping is just done and the spring just sort of holds it off the work till we get started. It's done by just turning that. And that's good enough. Well, it's for me anyway. So what I'm doing here, I've got some, uh, these will be eventually cylinders, a couple of cylinders for the little locomotive I'm making. I've made the cylinder end, end covers and I'm now drilling and tapping to attach the end covers to what will be the cylinder blocks. So that is tapping size for 10BA, so I've just drilled using the cylinder cover as a guide, 10BA tapping hole in the end. And now using this homemade uh, sort of tapping machine, just uh, tap, 
can be a hole. You see, it can be a screw. There we are, done. Repeat as many times as you need to. This is the plug tap. I'm not using any tape or tap to get things started. Uh, I think this this cylinder, I don't know what it is, uh, probably some sort of uh, brass or somewhere between half and bronze, who knows, it's something I had. Like most of us, I never quite know what metal I'm working with. Uh, but as you can see, You don't go start raving mad. Drawing and tapping. Easy. You need to listen to what's going on, and when the squeaking gets too loud, that's usually a sign that you really ought to stop. And there we are. Four 10 b old blind holes in the end of uh, what will be a cylinder eventually. Obviously, there's a lot of work still to do on it, but. Um, Takes longer to explain it than to do it, actually. Probably worth mentioning that I never ever clamp whatever part it is that I'm tapping. I never ever clamp that rigidly to the base. Even if the part is somewhat longer and more awkward and has to be held in some sort of vice. I do not clamp the vice to the plate. My thinking is that you get a much better feel, especially with these small taps, for what's going on if things start to bind and get tight, if everything can move. You can feel it with your fingers and you can hear with your ears rather than if you clamp everything down rigidly personally I think you lose a lot of um, sensation and it becomes much easier to break something the tap and you really rather wish you hadn't not because, I mean the taps are not cheap but um, the biggest problem is you could have put a lot of work into something that you're making end up with a broken tap that you cannot extract uh, and you might find that you've got several days worth of scrap on your hands that is a seriously unfunny situation do not ask me how I know these things so there you have it a homemade tapping machine so called for free really everything nothing bought uh, was just from bits that I happened to have lying about including the drill chuck as I explained earlier uh, and that's the way I like it. Don't pay for it if you don't have to. 